Hey guys, it's Stassi and I'm back with another video today. I can't even say another video because it's been a minute since our last video, but I'm back and here I am. Um, Luna's over here giving herself a bath. Today is going to be a really random compilation of kind of things I have at the thrift store. And then um, I just got these the other day and I'm going to cleanse them. Really, I'm just going to sit here and talk like I kind of do on my Patreon sometimes and we, we miss those, right? And I have a lot of things to update you guys on. So, um... I got my gummy here that I'm eating and I'm only gonna just chew on it live really slowly because I'm here with you guys. I have to go see my friends later so we're not trying to get blasted, but um, we're gonna do family dinner night. I'm super excited. So everything that I got is gonna be from um, multiple Goodwills. We went to the bins, but these are all Goodwills. Um, I've got a rosemary bundle here. The setup on the table for anyone that knows that I usually do a setup. I've got my, my tray to ash things them. I've got a sage candle. Hagstone for protection. This I did literally just thrift and I just made a TikTok about it. You guys might have seen it if you follow me over there. Um, it's my little mini simmer pot. I'm cute. It's a fondue set, but you can use it as a simmer pot. Um, I've got this piece of fluorite because I've been feeling fluorite. And yeah, I'm just going to take some of this ash off because this is going to be impossible to light because it's pretty old. Um, but then, you know, my hands are going to be. Didn't think that through. Bundles play around with me sometimes and take forever um, light. So as we're lighting this, I'm going to eat my um, gummy. I totally forgot that the last time I did one of these videos, the camera got super smoky. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. I should have brought like a sound cleansing instead of smoke. Sorry, guys. So uh, let's start at the beginning. So actually what I'm going to do, because I don't want the smoke to get all over the screen, is I will show you guys everything and then at the end I'll go through quickly and smoke cleanse everything. The first thing that I have here is this little 70s style container. The At least I think it's 70s. The vibe of the painting really has me feeling like uh, the colors are 70s, but it's super, super cute. I'm just going to use that for rings and things. Next up, this is a little shell container this is going on my altar you guys already know i'm obsessed with ocean and sea magic so very much going on my ocean altar i'm super excited did i mention that this is for witchcraft <laughs> if you're confused yeah most of this stuff is stuff that i thrifted because i'm in the craft this isn't going to be thrifted clothing items although i do do that often and i will make separate videos for those this i have like a little gold um espresso cup and a saucer perfect for offerings i'm going to be using this for ancestral offerings i'm so excited um a big silver bowl holding this i don't think it's real actually it says silver plate i was going to say i don't think it's real silver but i don't know it feels kind of sturdy and it says silver plate back here uh, originally i was going to use this for burning things because you can burn in silver but um I'm kind of sketched out to see if it's real or not, and I don't want to burn my apartment down. So it might just be used for mixing things up or during spell work or something. It'd actually be really perfect to put um, like a crystal at the bottom, some water, moon water, whatever kind of water you're working with, and then some candles on the top and manifest that way because actually I think that's what I'm gonna do with this. This next thing I feel like I stopped myself from buying for years, and it's dirty, so mind with me on that. But it is one of those, I was going to say like olden times, but I don't think these are really that old. People still use them. It's a crystal. I said this terribly. Sorry, I'm laughing at myself. Um, it's a little thing for your water. And then on the top, the cover is a cup. So you keep it next to your bedside. And when you're, you know, thirsty at night, you just, how bougie. You probably could put wine in this or other drinks, but I'm going to, I'm going to stick to water. And it was $10. Like <laughs> next up we have another, I had a really good, like, random container day at the thrift so it's blue and white marbled um little container this is really really cute i think i'm gonna put this in my bathroom and put little things in it if not it'll go on my altar so either or next or last two things um this i'm just super excited about like come on I, the fact that it was two bucks i've never actually had something i could walk around my house with a lit candle like olden times but i could walk around if i'm moving to cleanse something especially because it has like the saucer down here you could put extra shit oh i'm excited like this was a great find right but not as great 
as this seashell freaking silver dish with a stand. So it sits like this, but it's a seashell. And once again, you guys know how I feel about water witchcraft and magic. So this is so perfect. Um, it literally has like a spot here for candles. It's, it's so perfect. So I ended up finding a lot, and I mean a lot of veils, but a lot of them I hand washed, cleansed, charged in the full moon and everything because they're gonna go on my shop. Because I have so many of you guys being like, Stassi, where do you get your veils? I'm like, literally I thrift, and then they're like, there's no thrift stores next to me that have cute ones. So I said, listen, I've got you. I can thrift some. Um, and then I cleansed, like literally hand washed them, um, cleansed them spiritually, and like I said, we put them out in the moon to get charged. So you're all set. These are just some of the ones that I decided to keep because um, with the way my hair set up, I wear veils or just head wraps all the time, um, every single night and during spell work and for protection purposes. <laughs> literally all the time. I got this really pretty like blue and purplish one. Um, another blue purplish pink vibe. This one's really cute. Are you kidding? So cool. And then a red. So those are the veils that I picked up, the ones that I kept. I will be figuring those out a little bit later. Those veils don't need to be cleansed because I already cleansed them and everything, but um, we're gonna go ahead and light this and cleanse some stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to start doing like weekly vlogs because for the people that do wanna see it, I think it'd be really interesting, especially because running the business, it keeps up a lot of my time and stuff that people just literally never see and i get a lot of questions about what i do every single day and that kind of thing so i'm going to start doing like a weekly vlog um and maybe upload them on sundays or something so or mondays i guess sunday will be the last day so we're just going to wrap these in the smoke and i'm envisioning you know pure energy surrounding these things I, I'm trying to think what else if you guys do honestly like for I want the YouTube to be fun like place where we can learn now Maybe I'll do like beginner classes or whatever, but nothing like I don't know I want to kind of show my other things that I do because I mean witchcraft is a huge thing and I do want to share more of that especially Because I think I can talk about long-form things on here, but I also really love fashion and like other things and literally just I feel like can do some diverse things so be, let me know what y'all would be down to watch or if it's mainly just uh witchy content you want to see and if it is i'm so sorry for the clothing hauls that'll happen <laughs> um yeah this feels great all of this stuff has been sitting in my home and my doors are enchanted and things so yeah they got a little bit of a cleansing and stuff but uh this needs to literally be cleansed because there's like you see all that nasty stuff at the bottom gross <laughs> My, uh, my depth perception is terrible, right? Bad. Um, because I have astigmatism in two eyes and I, sh I just tried to put this down and shattered the top of this. I can't deal with this. Like, how is it after I got it cleansed, I got it home and I just shattered it like completely. I, I'm sad, but you know what? At least it was just the top and we can use something else. It won't be perfectly fitted like that, but I can't, of course I got that on camera. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Oh, my depth perception is so bad, especially with clear things like that. Just probably, you know, Dylan would be like, slow down. I'm like, it's not, I just can't see. Well, That's unfortunate. <laughs> but you know what? All the other things are beautiful and it's the, the main thing is still good, so it'll be fine. It lived a whole life though, just for me to um, murder it. Honestly, I'm gonna be here, you know, cleansing. I, oh, I only have two more, three more things. Um, trying to be a little bit more careful not to hit anything. Um, I'm excited to use this bowl because I do think that I can use it. I think it's um, silver. So if you guys know like a foolproof way to test if things are genuinely silver, please let me know because I know, I mean, if it's printed on the bottom, they can't lie, but I also feel like people probably do. Um, so let me know if you know of a good way. I've got to open this up actually. But let, um, before I do that, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I've got ash everywhere and I need to make sure that this glass is 
gone. Um, but thank you guys for being here. It's a little bit of a chaotic, just a messy video. Showed you guys some of the things that I hauled. Um, now I'm excited to put this stuff away. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing next or if you do want to start the like school series on anything witchcraft related or water magic or anything like that, let me know. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for being here with me and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Come on, peace sign. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, this is a Rick and Morty edible. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Cue me eating this for six minutes. Didn't think that through.